Hi, and welcome to the Qt Creator Android and PSOC 4 BLE tutorial. In this first tutorial, we will be going over how to download and install the development kits, how to set up Qt Creator for Android, and how to deploy a basic Qt Android app. If you haven't installed Qt Creator and PSOC Creator yet, please refer to the links down in the description. Once these two are downloaded, the only three files necessary are the Android SDK, the Android NDK, and the Java JDK. Just follow the listed links and download the files based on your computer's respective operating system. When downloading the Android SDK, make sure you are only downloading the .zip file. Once these are downloaded, navigate to your downloads folder and install the JDK by double clicking on the file and installing it like any other program. After that, create a new folder titled Android Development in your preferred location on your hard drive. Make sure you remember this location for we will be referring back to it later on. Personally, I prefer having this stored in the root of my hard drive. Transfer the SDK and NDK archives from your downloads folder into the newly created Android Development folder. Extract the Android SDK folder like any other zip file by using your preferred decompression program on Windows or by double clicking on a Mac. For the Android NDK archive on Windows, just double click the file and it should extract itself. On Mac, there's a couple of extra steps. Open up a terminal session by hitting command space and type in terminal. Hit enter and use the cd command to navigate to your Android development folder. Once there, type in the following command, chmod a plus x and then the file name, which is android-ndk-r10c-darwin-x86-64.bin. underscore After that, execute the file by typing in the command dot slash and then the file name, android-ndk-r10c-darwin-x86 underscore 64.bin. The archive should now extract itself. Once it's done extracting, you may now delete the archives. We will now run the Android SDK Manager. On Windows, open the Android SDK folder and double click on SDK Manager. To do the same on a Mac, open another terminal session and navigate to your Android development folder by using the cd command like earlier. Once there, run the SDK manager by entering this command, android-sdk-macosx slash tools slash android, and hit enter. Once you have the SDK manager running, at the minimum make sure these things are checked to be installed. Once these are checked, click on Install Packages, accept the license, and click on Install. Once done installing these packages, open up Qt Creator. Once loaded, for Windows, go to the top bar and click on Tools and then Options. And for Mac, click on Qt Creator and then Preferences. When loaded, click on Android located in the left column. Set up the JDK location by browsing to the installation folder for the JDK you installed earlier. For Windows, this is something along the lines of C colon slash program files slash Java slash JDK 1.7.0 underscore 79. For Mac, it's something along the lines of slash library slash java slash java virtual machines slash jdk 1.7.0 underscore 79 dot jdk slash content slash home. After this, set up the Android SDK and NDK location by browsing to the Android development folder that was created earlier. Once there, select their respective SDK and NDK folders.
check the boxes for automatically create kits for Android toolchains and also check Gradle instead of ANT. Click on apply and then hit OK. Now that the setup is done, we will now deploy a basic Hello World app to our Android device. Select New Project and then click on QT Quick Application and click on Choose. Title the project Hello Android. Keep the default minimum required QT version and also keep the kit titled Android for ARM EABI V7A selected. Then click Finish. Grab your Android device and go into Settings, then Developer Options and enable the USB debugging feature. If developer options are not visible in the settings screen, go into settings, about, software information, then more, and then build number, and repeatedly mash the build number option until developer options are unlocked. Once this is unlocked, go to settings, developer options, and enable the USB debugging feature. Note. The build number location may vary slightly from device to device, thus, if it isn't located in the same location as mine, try googling how to unlock developer options for your specific device. Also, once USB debugging is enabled, you do not need to enable it again. Connect your Android device via USB, change the kit to use the Android kit, and select Run. Once a window pops up, select your device from the list, Check the box if you want to always use this device when deploying the Android project. If not, then leave it blank. Then click OK. Wait for Qt to build the project and push the app to your device. And voila, you have a basic Hello World app on your Android device.